This is a medical video lecture, orthopedics. And today we're gonna talk about a very important topic that's Brody's abscess. We're gonna talk briefly and we're gonna talk important points for your USML examination. So Brody's abscess, okay, so remember it's nothing but it's a type of abscess seen after what you call osteomyelitis, okay? Osteomyelitis. So it's what it call it it causes what you call a formation of a pus or an abscess with a thin sclerotic margin uh, within the bone, okay? Especially seen in the ends of the long bone, that's the tibia. The upper end of the tibia, and what you call uh, the femur. If it's in the femur, it's gonna be lower end. Okay, guys. So let's draw this. What you call uh, if this is the tibia. Okay. The abscess formation will have this kind of vertical thin rim with this, okay? Inside this you will see the, what you call uh, the abscess. So this is known as the Brody's abscess. Okay guys, so Brody's abscess. So it's kind of a, what you call a body defense mechanism that has been able to contain the infection so as to create a chronic bone abscess containing the pus or a jelly-like granulation tissue surrounded by zone of sclerosis. You can see over here. So what's the most common type of what you call, um, uh, if this is, a, let me draw, this is tibia and this is what you call the upper end of the tibia, right? So, what's the common age group that's affected is 11 to 20 years, remember? Okay. Uh, right. Uh, and it's located in what you call the metaphysis. Metaphysis, because in a metaphysis, there is a lot of blood supply, right? So, the metaphysis is most common location for the, what you call, the infection of the bone to take place. Right. Then, epiphysis or diaphysis. So what are the symptoms? The patient will have a deep boring pain, okay, very important, it's a deep boring pain, okay, it's a very, and it's really what you call worsen at night, and you have, that's why you have to ask the what you call the nature of the pain, is it more worse in a daytime or working or is it in the night, okay, that's really very important. Right, but in some instances, it becomes worse on walking and is relieved by the rest. Remember, so it has some what you call a uh, different nature of this uh, pain of this Brody's abscess, right? And what happens occasionally, there may be a transit effusion in the adjacent joint during exacerbation of symptoms. Okay, so on examine, if you examine, there is a, what you call a tenderness and a thickening of the bone, you can feel thickening. And tenderness okay guys right so what are the radiological features if you take an x-ray the radiological picture is really very important that's a diagnostic okay and it shows what you call like this over here circular okay picture or uh, lucent area surrounded by zone of sclerosis this is gonna be zone of Sclerosis, okay? Remember, zone of sclerosis. So the rest of the bone is normal, but the only thing you can see over here is the zone of sclerosis and what you call uh, the infection, the pus over here. And this area will be loosened, okay, on x-ray, right? And how do you treat it is by surgery. Remember, it's by surgery, okay? That's evacuation and critiques from performed under what you call antibiotic, antimicrobial agents. Okay, evacuation and cortege. 
is performed under antibiotics. Antibiotics has to be given because if you don't give any antibiotic, that, then it can spread to other parts of the bone and causes what you call the severe osteomyelitis, right? So, and if the cavity is large, if this abscess is large, it is packed with what you call a cancellous bone chips. Okay? Cancellous bone chips. So guys, you got an idea how to manage the patient and what is the Brody's abscess? Brody's abscess is nothing but it's due to what you call a special type of osteomyelitis, okay, uh, where there's accumulation of a purse inside the bone, especially in the long end of the um, end of the long bone, especially in the upper end of the tibia or the lower end of the femur, okay. Um, and it's uh, the common age group is 11 to 20 years and the most common location is a metaphysis and the most common symptom is a deep boring pain and that is worse at the night on radiology you see lucent area circular with the uh, zone of sclerosis okay guys and the treatment is by surgery thank you so much for watching this video take care